Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The unmanned vehicles are disruptive technologies which is going to rule the warfare be it at air, water or land. They not only minimize the human losses but also increase the operational endurance and reach beyond human capabilities. China has developed significant capabilities in this segment which also includes the underwater unmanned vessels or UUVs. As usual, India did develop this technology long time back but could not take it to production and induction into Indian Armed Forces. The UUVs or underwater unmanned vessels or vehicles can be used for both offensive and defensive purpose in underwater warfare. These UUVs can also act as swarm by communicating and coordinating with each other to perform tasks in a coordinated manner. In today's video, we are going to discuss about one such swarm UV which is being developed by Mazgaon Dock Limited. So MDL is developing the autonomous unmanned vessel swarm drone concept under Indian government's Innovation for Defense Challenge or IDEX initiative based on the requirement outlined by Indian Navy. So if you look at the requirement, as per IDEX challenge, the autonomous and intelligent underwater swan drones should be equipped with advanced image processing and artificial intelligence capabilities to deliver a payload of minimum 7 kilograms in the seabed at a minimum of 60 meter depth. The swarm should be intelligent to detect underwater mines and coordinate the delivery of payload on the mines. Now, as we all know, that the Lima Exhibition 2023, which is similar to Aero India, is ongoing in Malaysia. The MDL is also participating in the event where they have showcased their new concept, which is called Mine Countermeasure MCM Swarm. This was also showcased by MDL during Defense Expo 2022. From the name itself, it is clear that this system is meant for countering the underwater mines lead to hunt submarines. The system follows master slave architecture. That is, it will have one MCM which acts as a master AUV and two slave AUVs. The master AUV controls the two slave AUVs which are designed to perform different roles. One slave AUV can perform role of mine locator while the other one can act as a mine buster. The master AUV establishes the communication with slave AUVs and the mothership which could be a warship or submarine. These AUVs can be launched from existing torpedo tubes of Indian warships and submarines. They are powered by two 44 kilowatt hour batteries and have a length of 1.8 meters, diameter of 251.79 meters and weighs around 60 kg. The AUVs are capable of operating at a speed of 4 knots with a payload of 7 kg for up to 4 hours. They can operate at a depth of 60 meters. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.